Language and culture. The language of a culture is the language that best expresses that culture because the culture is embedded in that language. For example, it is through language that categorizations made by a culture is expressed. In the Philippines, for example, the different varieties of bananas have different words for them. These may include Lakatan, Senorita, Saba, Lachandan and many more. A culture's cosmology is embedded in the terms used to refer to times of the day, terms related to heavenly space, heavenly objects, weather and seasons. In Tagalog, for example, a day during which the sun shines is divided into Umaga, morning, Tinghali, around noontime, Hapon, around late afternoon, Dapit Hapon, nearing late afternoon. Interestingly, Tagalog does not have a word for sunset but the time after sunset is known as Tahipsilam. The semiotic view of culture sees culture as a system of signs, as a representation of the world. This is done through language products such as songs, proverbs, legends, myths, descriptions and other cultural items made up of language. In Filipino basketball for example, a certain way of shooting the ball by extending the hand with the ball and bending backwards is known as Pilita Corrales, named after a popular singer who takes a similar posture by extending her hand with the microphone and bending her back to be able to hit her high notes. According to Anna Wirtspica, we can try to understand a culture through its key terms. Japanese culture, for example, has the words ami, inryo, wa, onangiri. From these words Japanese culture can begin to be understood. Ami. The closest words to describe ami are benevolence, sweetness and indulgence. According to DOI 1981, as quoted by Wirtspica, if A is said to be ami to B, it means that he allows B to ameru, i.e. to behave self-indulgently presuming on some special relationship that exists between the two. In Rio, in Rio could meant restraint. In practice this could mean avoiding reference to oneself and avoiding giving an opinion, especially a dissenting one. Wa. Wa could mean harmony by prioritizing the group over the individual. Onangiri. On could mean recognizing one's obligation and even debt of gratitude. Giri could mean honor and responsibility. The translations or glosses to these Japanese words surely fail to describe the actual connotations of the words. One needs to examine the concepts behind the words to truly begin to understand Japanese culture. In the Philippines, concepts expressed through the Tagalog words kapwa, loob, haya, layman and other words can give an insight into Philippine culture. Each ethnic group in the Philippines have their equivalent words for the given Tagalog words. Kapwa Kapwa is a recognition and expression of a shared identity between the self and fellow human beings, according to Virgilio Enriquez. It involves different levels of engagement ranging from outward conformity to oneness. Kapwa has its counterpart terms in other Philippine languages. In the Luzon area, the following are examples. In Ilocano, Kapwa is Potangatao while in Ibanag the term is Ikotoli. In Agutanan, the term for Kapwa is Mazagkata. In the Visayas area, the following are examples. In Canare A, Hiligaynon and Cebuano, Capua is Izig Katal. In the Mindanao area, the following are examples. In Bainu Kid, the closest term for Capua is Salade. In Taos Sug, the term for Capua is Peg Kahi. Peg Kahi is also the word for Capua in Mapun, Sil Philippines, 2021. Laobi. Laobi refers to the core or inside. According to Weird Spica, a characteristic of a key term is that many other words expressing other concepts can be derived from it. Laobi is a key word in that it has many derivatives including the following. Will, gift, bad feeling, criminal, sentiment, debt of gratitude, and many more. A culture can also be understood by the taboo words it has. Instead of actually saying the taboo words, euphemisms are used in their place. Universally, there seems to be euphemisms for sexual activities, death, sins and toilet activities. Each culture can have unique euphemisms for other taboo words or topics. For example, in Filipino, one of the euphemisms for adultery is to go to the left. An insight into a culture could also be obtained by the curse words it uses. For example, in Tagalog, one curse involves saying that a person is the vomit of his or her mother. In fact many Tagalog curses involves insulting one's mother. These and many more will be discussed in later self-learning videos. This self-learning video on language and culture is short because the subtopics under this topic have their own self-learning videos.